Hey friends, it's Amy at Doki Doki Forest, and guess what? The new edition of Homes for Sale in the Doki Doki Forest just came out. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. We've got our hands on the brand new edition of Homes for Sale, Autumn 2023 edition in the Doki Doki Forest. Now, first of all, let me just say that today is Friday. It's Flip Through Friday, and I'm going to flip through this mushroom catalog for you. And Flip Through Friday is an open collab hosted by Christina at Christina's Shack. So be sure to check out the hashtag, go check out Christina's channel, and see what everybody else is up to. The other thing I want to say before I get going in to this magazine is that this entire thing is inspired by Janet Nash. She took a magazine and she cut it into a shape where she made a heart. And so I decided I wanted to make a mushroom. And this was a few months ago and I did cut it out then, but it's taken me forever to finish it and it's actually not finished yet, but I still wanted to share it with you. So I will link Janet Nash down below and I will link her magazine that she cut so you can make one in whatever shape you would like as well. Okay, and now let's get in to this magazine. So we've got homes for sale and we have this little mushroom welcoming us in. He says, come on in and see our selection of mushroom houses. So these are all different mushroom homes. Now, if you open the magazine the full way, you can get a large mushroom. But then when you fold it back like this, you get the half mushroom. So each time you open a page, you get like a full mushroom spread. So here we go. Here is the first home for sale. And this is a very woodsy, nature-themed kind of home. We have some trees growing in there. Of course, little caterpillar friends may show up. Flowers, a nice fireplace. It's a very cozy, woodsy sort of cottage. And I'll hold it up like this so hopefully you can see it a little bit better. It's a little bit tricky with my camera set up the way it is, but I think you can get the idea. Also, as I'm flipping through, let me know if you would like to move into any of these homes, and if so, which one? And also, just for fun, let me know what you would pay for it. Now, not in cash or anything like that. It has to be in some sort of a foresty kind of currency. So you could pay with like two acorns or something like that. So that's just for fun. <laughs> and eventually what I wanted to do with this magazine is to actually have little creatures that have moved in. So right now these are all available, but the next time I flip through, there may be some residents in here. Now, if this one's not your style, let's turn the page and see what else we can offer you. How about a beautiful, flowery, greenhouse sort of a home. Now, we can see right here we have two little gnomes that have moved in because they are little sunflower gnomes. So they will help you to take care of all of these flowers because it is a lot. And you've got your little rain boots over here because you'll be spending a lot of time amongst the flowers and all the wetness and mud and dirt and all that good stuff. And it will smell wonderful. Now, if you have allergies or something to some flowers, then this may not be for you. So let's see what else we have. Oh, this one is a dragon's dream room. Now, this is just loaded with gems. They have been lovingly collected from across the globe, and they are all here for you to enjoy. Now, it may not be the most comfortable room, so if you don't have scales, then this may not make a comfortable environment for you to lay down in. But if you do have scales, then this may be just the thing. And now, let's see what's on the next page. Oh, this one is for those of you or someone you know who loves to have some yummy treats. So we've got some coffee, some iced or hot. Of course, you can have tea. We've got a little tea set here. 
Let me show you close up. We've got a little tea set there. We've got some yummy little squares there, lemon squares you can have. We have a little roll here, a little log cake kind of thing. We've got the silverware all ready for you, so you can just dive right in. We've got all kinds of cakes. You might even be able to sleep on top of that whipped cream. That might be nice. And there's a little plate here that says celebrate every day. So this is the room if you want to celebrate every single day and have treats and invite people over and have tea parties and that sort of thing if you love to entertain. Now if you don't like to entertain, then let's see what else we might have. Now this is a fruit room. So this is chock full of fruit. So this might be for you or if you have a lot of birds that you would like to invite over or perhaps you have a lot of butterflies because they do love to have some fruit too or maybe you just like to have a lot of picnics so you want to have all fresh gardens fresh fruit you can pick and pack in your little picnic basket and take along with you to have picnics wherever you go and if that's not for you let's see Oh, this is my middle page. I actually didn't do anything to this. I just loved this picture. I think that's a dragon fruit, right? So I just really liked the composition. It's simple, but I left it. So that's the original. So let's turn on now and see what we have on the next page. Oh, this is our fun rainbow pastel sort of room. This is for unicorns or anyone you know who just loves to have colorful things all around. Even your refrigerator will be rainbow color coded and organized. We have a few gummy bears that have moved in. We have a little rock that has moved in and we of course have a horse and a unicorn. So there are some residents in here but there's plenty of room for you as well. And it even comes with a whole wardrobe of clothes you can choose from. Rainbow colored. So this is for a lot of fun. We've got a radio. Um, we've got a nice bubble bath here for you. So is this for you? Let me know. Otherwise we'll move on. And here we have an ocean theme, a water theme, but kind of more of an ocean theme. So we have waves and shells and sea turtles. We've got a nice chair you can just go sit out on and enjoy all of the, oh, we have some scrap paper too. Um, <laughs> you can sit in your chair and enjoy the sound of the waves. You can visit with the animals. We've got a lighthouse. And then on this page, this is a nice little couch perhaps you can sit on. And, you know, we're not going to skimp. We're going to give you a nice big glass of something that you would like to enjoy while you are relaxing at the beach. So you can see it is pretty large compared to the table. And you are the captain. So here you go. You have your steering wheel. And then... Here is a ship. It might be your ship. Maybe you can take that out for a little ride in the harbor. And if being by the water is not for you, then let's see what else we have. Ah, uh, this is a dog page. So this is chock full of pups. All different pups. Some are very sweet pups waiting for you to come home. Some are a little more on the mischievous side. Do we say naughty? Maybe not. Just having some fun. Perhaps you forgot to leave a toy for the puppy, so it decided to make a toy out of your pillow. But don't worry. This home will come loaded with pillows, so that way, if they do get into any mischief, you will have plenty of pillows for backup. And it's just pups and pups and pups as far as the eye can see. And they are all eagerly awaiting your arrival. Now, if this is too many pups to take care of, I totally understand. Let's see what's on the next page. This is a very relaxing, serene sort of page. It's very green. Now, I say that, and then here's a big old goose running down here, so perhaps he's crashing the party. But the idea was for this to be a very relaxing, picnic-y, enjoying nature. We've got bikes for you to enjoy, a nice little bike ride. We have soothing succulents, plants around for you to relax. We have little deer that come up to visit. A picnic basket, of course, so you can just enjoy your time by the pond or out in a chair. And this has drinks as well, not quite as big as the one on the water page, but still some nice little 
glasses there for you to enjoy. And of course, the occasional goose. So I hope you don't mind having him for company. <laughs> and next up we have, now this is another green room. If you couldn't guess, my favorite color is green. So there are quite a lot of green uh, rooms in this edition of the book. So perhaps I'll try to make some more different colored rooms in a future edition. <laughs> Now the idea for this one is it is a green room, but we have kind of more palm fronds here. And we also have some birds in here. So we have a little rooster coming to visit. We've got a bald eagle who's made a nest up here. We have a pheasant. We have a little hummingbird. Actually, a hummingbird's pretty good size compared to everybody else. And we have some birds that are nesting over here. So this is a home, if you don't mind birds moving in, they will be flying in, flocking in. They would like to come and spend some time with you. Especially over the winter, perhaps. You know, some of them might migrate. Some of them just kind of want to get cozy. So they might come in for the winter, and then they might go on their way in the spring. You know, it's kind of like an Airbnb. <laughs> okay, next up we have rocks. So this is for those of you who may enjoy mountain climbing or just exploring rocks and all the different textures. You might find peace just being among these big rocks and kind of touching their cool surfaces, or maybe some of them are heated up from the sun, they're warm from the sun, so you can have a nice heat rock to lay on. And there's even some water here, so you can have a little sound of a stream going over the rocks into the water. You can have that cave that you've always dreamed of. And moving on, next up we have another kind of serene room. This is like a botanical room. It's just got different kind of floral patterns and soothing colors to just help you relax. A beautiful tree over here. Very gentle room. Just for you or your guests, whoever you would like to have. But this is good if you need a little alone time. Perhaps there were too many visitors on those other pages, and this is a good space for you to just unwind, take a deep breath, and have your own space. Now, if you don't want your own space and you would like it packed, then this might be the room for you. Now, this room is loaded with cats. And as you can see, I didn't finish up here, so I'll have to add more cats up there. But look at this. This is full of all kinds of kitties and for some reason an empty bird cage, but we won't talk about that too much. Now these cats have decided to do some decorating of their own and they have decided that they are as tough as tigers. So they have some tiger pillows around, some tiger decor you will see, and that is because they imagine themselves to be quite ferocious. And you know what? Some of them just maybe, but I have a feeling that one with the tongue sticking out is probably very sweet. Now, I don't know if these will all be indoor cats or outdoor cats or indoor outdoor cats, so it could be a lot of litter boxes. I get it. This might not be for you, so let's see what else we have. This is the last page in this edition, and this is a library, and for some reason also a couple snake pillows. <laughs> <laughs> probably because they were green, but this has a beautiful reading nook for you to cozy up in and enjoy the outside. Open that window and then, you know, grab a book. Well, grab the book first, then go over there. But you can peruse all of these shelves. There are so many books to choose from. Now you don't have to have your books all over your floor because you didn't have enough space, or maybe that's just me. But um, <laughs> you can have shelves full, enough to last you, hopefully at least through the winter, and then, you know, you can get some more books or add some more shelves. There's still some room for some more shelves, so who knows? We may add some more. We'll see. And that does it. That is this edition of the Homes for Sale in the Doki Doki Forest. 
I hope you had a great time flipping through again. Let me know if there's one that you are interested in. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.